Hello everyone and welcome back to That's Not My Neighbour. Now we're on the achievements page because I've been looking at which of these achievements that I can try and aim for first and I think I'm going to try the conspiracy theory one which I believe, I could be very wrong, I've not looked anything up about this yet, uh, is we just have to get through without anyone dying, I think. After every day that you finish you get a little bit more about Chester and what's happening to him. So I think that if you don't get anyone killed, it doesn't pop up and we don't get that mismatch of Chester Law plus somebody dying. So that's what I'm going to do today. I did say at the end of the last video, which if you haven't watched already, go watch that first. Uh, I'm going to be doing cut down versions of these because, you know, there's only a certain amount of times that you can look at someone being having the DDD cord on them or the amount of time that it takes for me to have a look at each of them and these videos are more of like the achievement hunting kind of ones so this is going to be a bit more of a cut down version um so i'm just gonna hop in and see if we can get through this without getting anyone killed or letting doppelgangers in and i hope that i've had enough practice previously which just say that i haven't had any more practice since i recorded that first one uh that i can get through to this if you're new here by the way my name is fireside we look at demos and free to play games and if it scratches that itch the right way we then uh, take a deeper dive into that and do some sort of let's play i suppose but anyway let's get into this as that's what you're here for I've loaded up a new campaign here and we know all of this. Congratulations, we have a new job. Thank you. You're. Uh, we'll be working for the next seven days, hoping to get these guys in. Uh, hello, McLeany. Oh, thankfully, we only start with a small amount. So he's got the hat, he's got that. Yeah. And as I always said, I'll be skipping ahead just as I'm checking various things to do with this. I had a sneaking suspicion that that was not gonna go in my favour. Well, we lost on the first day, so what I'm gonna do is restart this one and uh, hope for a better start. Well, that was a much better first day, so we've got the local farmer Chester faces aliens with Alt Tractor. So we've got our first part here of Chester's Law, so let's get on to day two and hope we can keep this up. Day two done and still in the clear. We've got a second piece of law for Chester here. Unreleased pho photograph of flying saucer, courtesy of Chester. Chester claims to have seen and photographed the flying object that comes from another planet. According to Chester, since yesterday this object has been flying around the perimeter of his land. It's only going to get worse for my buddy Chester from here on out. So let's hop into day three and let's hope we can keep the streak up. Well, this is a character we've not seen before. It looks like a new favourite cow, Lulu. Poor Lulu. Local farmer reports that beings from another planet are stealing his cows. Chester reports of a series of abductions of his calves and cows. The farmer claims to have witnessed his favourite cow, Lulu, being abducted by a flying saucer. Well, I did say it was going to get worse for Chester, but it's also apparently getting worse for Lulu. And I don't, I mean, look at this face. How can you not love this face? Poor Lulu. But anyway, that's day three down, so let's get into day four and hope that we can continue the streak. It's day five and Chester's missing. It's only about to get worse for him, I fear. Day five complete, so we're on to day six. Chester is back safe and sound, but I don't think his mental health is doing too well. Uh, we've seen this before with the uh, disorientated and babbling nonsense. So hopefully we just have the one or two more days. I can't remember whether it's day seven is the last one or... Yes, yeah, so we should only have one more screen after this, I think. Well, there's only one more to find out. Let's continue and we'll find out. Uh, that was it for day six. So we've got a new law segment here. Chester Tito claims to have been abducted by aliens. The former, the former f local farmer claims that aliens sent him to the future where he learned a lot about the 21st century society. His family members comment that everything seems to indicate trauma caused by his disappearance days earlier. Poor Chester. Well, there's only one more day left. Last day of the weekend. So we'll... Uh, We'll see what the the last news daily looks like. 
And there we go. One more achievement in the bag. 24 doppelgangers captured. None let in and no neighbours killed. And for that we get the honourable employee. This document certifies that you are the best doorman your building has ever had. Congratulations. Hallelujah. We didn't get fired from this one. So let's go have a look at that achievement. Which one did we actually get? Uh, page two. This one. Model employee. Achieves this ending in campaign mode. Okay, so we've got that one now which is great so I was kind of hoping we would get the conspiracy theorist uh, but I'm not entirely sure how you'd get that because I thought getting everything part of the conspiracy for Chester would get that achievement but no I'm happy with model employee that's fine um, so I guess these are the two left for campaign mode so we i'll probably need to look at what entitled to one call is i'm guessing that means that you can only make one call but i don't know whether that's one call per day or one per call round or one per call the entire campaign if it's the entire campaign it's going to be really really difficult but we're always up for a challenge so i'll have a look to see what that one is and also conspiracy theorists, because I have no idea how to get that achievement. Okay, so I'm glad I actually looked this up before starting to go through all of those achievements, because that Entitled to One Call would have absolutely taken me ages if I was trying to do it where I could only make one call the entire way. To get the Entitled to One Call achievement, uh, you have to kill everyone, basically. So I guess that makes sense, Entitled to One Call is the whole, like, you can call one... Uh, person when you're being held at the police station so that's going to be fun I'm basically just going to call DDD on everyone which is going to take a hell of a long time because it takes forever to call DDD but that's an easy achievement to get so I'm probably going to get that one next conspiracy is an interesting one as well so I thought cons I had no idea I genuinely thought it would be more to do with getting Chester's law and sort of like tying that into conspiracy but it's it's not actually it's more interesting than that oh i think it's more interesting so to get the conspiracy theorist achievement you need to kill only w afton mr afton which i guess is tied into fnaf so if you didn't know um dr afton is the purple guy shocker i know also spoilers i suppose if you've been under the rock for 10 years um <laughs> <laughs> Afton is part of the FNAF universe and is one of the major sort of Kickstarter characters for the whole events. Uh, you can, I get, there's thousands of videos on the internet about Afton and ha what his story is. So if you want to know more about it, go sort of have a look at those. But yeah, I, I guess that's more interesting. Uh, every all other neighbors have to live, but only kill Afton. So again, I think that one's just a time kind of sync one, which is fine. I will happily do that. Uh, and I guess it's time to go into a montage where we get the one call, so kill everyone. Because unfortunately we can't combo this and get both of them. But we can absolutely get both of them individually. So I'm going to go do that. in a weird way this is kind of cathartic like the amount of times that they give me the wrong details being able to call the ddd and have them all taken away i mean i know i'm literally murdering everyone but at the same time it's kind of fun We're, so we're on day six and we've killed quite a few more now so hopefully this will be the last day how are we looking yeah. the ddd beams have been removed from your oh due to the performance of this past week the ddd informs you oh, what's that? moreover you okay so yeah i think we got it i think we were yep arm in cuffs yeah i deserve that I deserve that to be fair. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. One more achievement in the bag. Just like that. We were arrested. There we go. Entitled to one call. <laughs> we probably deserved that one. Um, 
So it's only the conspiracy theorist, which, I mean, that entire to one call actually took me longer than I thought. So I've been recording for 23 minutes. So that's a 23 minute solid of just calling the DDD over and over and over and, and over again. Um, which took a little bit longer than I thought. I thought by sort of date three, then we were probably going to be done with that. But hey, apparently it took to day six. Uh, so I'm dreading how long Conspiracy Theorist is going to take me. But hey, let's hop in and get that done. Because then that will be the last of the campaign mode achievements done. And then we've just got three of the harder ones to do. The Collector comes at the end. I think he knows that we're hunting him. We've not had him at all on the today's list. It's day four and we still haven't seen him. I think he's hiding. He knows that he's on the unaliving chopping block. Day five is done and I still haven't seen him once. I I don't know what happens if he never turns up. Like, is it's, could you have... I guess it's just odds? I don't know. I, can you have a whole round where you don't see a single, like, the one person? He's also not on today's list too, so I'm just hoping in a random encounter that he does come up. I think he's hiding from me. What a troll. I needed this guy, but he's clearly a doppelganger. Well, I was hoping we get him in the next two days. That's another day done, and still haven't seen him. Slightly losing hope for this run. Might have to do it again. Day six is my one of last hopes. And day six comes oh, through for me. We have Afton today. Hallelujah. Hello, Francis. Oh, no, I knew Francis was going to be the death of me. I think this is the actual Francis, and I think I let a doppelganger up. I stared at him for ages, trying to figure out whether his eyes were slightly smaller on that doppelganger or not. And I came to the conclusion that they weren't, but seeing this guy in front of me makes me think that they were. Oh, if that if the other guy was the doppelganger and this guy is who he says he is, then that's like an hour and 20 minutes down the train and I've got to do this all again. And I got to day five. Oh, joys. And yeah, Francis was an unfortunate casualty in this. Uh, I spent so long staring at those eyes trying to figure out if they were smaller or not. So lesson learned, yes they were smaller. <sighs> Fine, let's start this again. Get out of here Francis, we're not friends right now. We're trying this again, we just got Afton. We're on day six, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't mess this one up. I feel like the game's just taking it easy on me now. The last couple that I've just had, these have all been like really obvious doppelgangers. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'd rather have the obvious ones than the not obvious ones, but I feel like it's trying to make up for me the fact that I'm still so angry about Francis. <laughs> so we've got Afton killed. We've got one more day, one last day. So hopefully this is it and it's in the bag for this achievement. I hate that Roman has done this to me. He doesn't have his hat, and if I ask him about his appearance, he doesn't say anything about leaving his hat behind. And Lois isn't in the apartment because she's on here, so if I, when I called up, no one answered. So no one answered, which is a good sign, because it means that he's not there, I'm hoping. But do I trust the hatless? This is awful. I, <laughs> I hate it. Scratch that, I've just realised he's out, he's out of date. Oh, thank God for that. Hopefully Celine was the last one. She wasn't on my list and I swear she was trying to trip me up. But hopefully right, that'd be the last one and give me my achievement for this. Yes, there we go. I'm sorry, Afton. Not really. Kind of had to be this way. That's a bit rude. I'm guessing this is the simulation of like being put into the suit. Oh no! The DDD, we're on it and all. 
How dare they? Oh, thank God for that. Okay, that took far, far too long. That took about three hours to try and get that achievement, but we have it. So if I load up the achievements... There we go. We've got all of these ones. So these ones are all of the campaign mode ones. So that is campaign mode achievements done. Now I just have the hard part of trying to do the infinite mode, uh, which is basically uh, Nightmare Plus. So they're going to be fun. But if we manage to get these ones, I'm pretty sure we can do Nightmare Plus. So thanks for watching this one, guys. The Nightmare Plus is going to have to be a different video because this took so long to do. I don't have time to do it now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, thank you. If you liked or subscribed during this video, thank you. It means a lot to a small channel like mine. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.